Good morning, everyone. I am here again for another little workout uh, for you. Um, so this morning, um, we're going to do a weight workout. Now, I hope you can see me okay, because um, I seem to be a little bit jerky as I'm watching myself. So I hope you can see me okay if you're following along. Um, so this morning, um, we're, we're sitting down. Okay, I thought I'd make it nice and easy this morning. Okay, we'll do it sitting. But we are going to be using some weights. Now, um, sometimes some women are reluctant to, to, um, to use weights. So um, in Pilates, we only really uh, use a light weight. We, we don't use heavy weights, so there's, there's no need to. We're not looking at building big, bulky muscles. That, that, that's not what Pilates is about, and that's not what we want either. So if you're new to using weights, or I, I try to call it resistance training if I can, it just sounds a bit friendlier. Um, and not everybody's got hand weights anyway. I've just grabbed a couple of tins out of the cupboard this morning, okay? So tins are a great way to get started, okay? And they've got a little bit of weight to them, they're not too heavy, so they're ideal if you haven't done any exercise for some time. Um, or that you know, those little small bottles of water, a couple of those filled up those will be fine. So you don't, don't need any fancy equipment. There's plenty of things around the house, I'm sure, that you can find that will do the job. So this morning, I thought we'll do it sitting. We'll work the upper body. We're going to work on the arms and the shoulders. So why are we doing a weight workout, or a, I'll call it resistance workout, shall I? Because that's what it is, we're resistance training. Why are we doing a resistance workout? It's because I want you to realise how important it is when you, well, for any, any woman of any age, over 40 really, um, it's really important that you focus on maintaining that lean muscle tissue in your body, okay? And um, if, you, if you strengthen those muscles, you're also having a positive impact on your bones as well. So you're strengthening your bones as well. So as you get a little bit older, we all lose a bit of muscle mass, okay? But you can actually, what we do, we start losing muscle mass in our 30s, okay? So it's, uh, it's important that you start, well, at any, at any age, you need to start um, doing exercises, uh, like weight-bearing exercises, where you're using your body weight to strengthen your body. So um, things like walking uh, is, is a, is a weight-bearing exercise. Um, squats where you're bending your knees, things like that. Those are all weight-bearing exercises, okay? Where, where something like swimming. Swimming isn't a weight-bearing exercise because the water's supporting you, okay? So um, it needs to be weight-bearing exercise to really get the benefit of it. But I like to add in bits of equipment because, um, for one, it just makes the exercises more interesting, doesn't it? Okay, a bit of variety. Um, plus, we, it enables us to work those muscles a little bit more. It gives them a little bit more of a challenge. So today we've got the, the tins or the weights, whatever you've got at home. Sometimes you may have seen me with the resistance bands, okay? Anything like that, that is um, stressing the muscles more. So it's putting more demand on them. They're working harder. And that's what we want. We want to work the muscles and that will in turn give a benefit our bones as well, okay? We better make a start then, shall we? So where shall we start? Shall we start like this, okay? So um, I've got my elbows tucked in at my waist. My hands are just an inch or two off, off the thighs there. And we're just gonna bend the elbows, okay? So you're just gonna bring your weights up to your shoulders as high as you can, and then lower them back down, okay? Nice and simple, okay? So. Um, uh, when, I, when I mention training with weights, a lot of women sometimes think of um, going to the gym and lifting heavy weights. And we don't need to do that, that at all. We can do what we need to maintain that muscle mass at home. As long as we've got the right equipment, like some, some weights or some tins, um, that is what we need sometimes, okay? Better move it on a little bit, shouldn't we? What else should we do? Let's do this one. I'm going to take the arms out to the side, or the hands out to the side, I should say, and then bring them back together. So we send the hands out to the side and then bring them back together. So I've still got my elbows tucked in at my waist there. Okay. So um, strengthening the muscles is really important. Okay. It's really, it's really is the key to longevity. So if you want to maintain um, your activity levels, to stay mobile, to stay independent later in life, keeping those muscles strong is a good way to go about that. 
Let's change it again, shall we? Take the hands out. We're going to straighten out the arms this time, and then we'll bring the elbows back in, and then the hands come around. So we send the hands out. We straighten the arms out. We bring the elbows in, and then the hands come around. So as you take those arms out, just keep them to shoulder height. Don't take them any higher. That's it. Wonderful. Okay. I think we'll hold them out this time, shall we? Okay. I think we can do that. We're going to hold them there. So we're going to bend the elbows again. I think we'll do that a couple of times, okay? Keeping those arms nicely lifted. And then we'll bring the elbows back into the side. And then we'll do it again. So we take the hands out. We straighten the arms. We bend and straighten. And again, bend and straighten. We fold the elbows in. Bring the hands around. And again, I quite like this exercise, so we'll do it again. Here we go. So we'll bend and straighten. Bend and straighten, fold the elbows in, bring the hands around. I think we'll have the arms down this time, okay? So you're sitting up nice and tall on your chair. You know the sitting bones in your bum, those bony bits that you can feel if you, if you sit on your hand, okay? You want to make sure that those sitting bones stay glued to your seat. Now, don't, don't lift your hip, okay, like that. Keep everything nicely glued down. What we're going to do is we're going to flex over to the side. So you're just going to do a little flex over to the side. Okay, so it's almost like you're having a little stretch. And then you're going to come all the way back up again. And then you go the other way. We don't want to flex over too far there. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, so if you flex over, you may feel a little bit of pulling in the waist, a little bit of stretching. That's okay, as long as you don't take it too far. But because we've got um, the weight in our hands, okay, we are getting those muscles around our waist and uh, the muscles sort of uh, the sort of wrap all the way around us actually into the lower back round into the into the stomach area as well we are working those muscles a bit harder because it's a bit harder for them to come back to upright if we're holding something heavier in our hands okay so we'll just do it one more time flex to the side and then come back to center. Wonderful. I think I'm going to bring my arms into this position. Okay, so my arms are like that. You can see I've got the elbows bent. Okay, we're just going to hold them there. We're going to do some little pulses. We're going to pulse the arms up to the ceiling. Press, press, press. Nice and steady. Okay, so don't let the, uh, the arms start to sink. Keep them nicely lifted. Here we go. Let's do eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Now, even just with the tins, I could feel that a little bit in my shoulders. So we'll keep the arms here and we'll take them out to the side and then we'll close them back down again. So we'll open the arms and close. And again, we open the arms and close. That's it. So you can see how I've got my elbows lifted to about shoulder height. We want to keep them at that level. Don't let them sink any lower. Okay, we'll add in a little press. So keep the arms out, press the arms up to the ceiling and lower them down. We'll do it again, shall we? We could do a few of these while we're here. Okay, and then I can now feel those muscles in my shoulders, in my arms starting to work. Okay, so they might feel like they're getting a little bit tired. Okay, but that's okay. Okay, that means that your muscles are working. That's what we want. So keep going if you can. Okay, hopefully you've just got a light weight like I have. So we can do a few more, can't we? Okay. So what we'll do this time, we'll hold the arms there and then we'll close them back down again. We'll take them out to the side. We'll press them back up and lower them down. So we'll close and we'll open. We'll press and release. And again, we close and open. Do a press. That's it. We're almost there. Here we go. We'll make this the last one. That's it. We're going to bring your arms back around to the front, back to this position, and we're going to do the pulses again. Press, press, press. Not as many, just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then you can relax the arms down. Remember the first one we did? Little curl and release. Little curl and release. That's it. Curl and release. This feels quite easy now. Okay, <laughs> last one. Wonderful. Relax the arms. I'm just going to put those weights down. 
Okay, so we'll just roll the shoulders a little bit. Okay, and we'll have a little stretch, I think. So we'll take the arms up to the ceiling. And then keeping those sitting bones down into the seat, we're just going to do a little stretch one way. And then back the other way. We'll do it again. I quite like this stretch. And then we'll just do one more. Okay. And is it, that is just a simple little routine that you can do in sitting. It doesn't take too long, does it? But even with light weights, even with a couple of tins, I could feel um, my shoulders, my arms doing a little bit of a workout. Okay. So um, you don't have to have heavy weights. We don't want to work with heavy weights. Um, if you do have hand weights at home, that's great. Use them. But I wouldn't advise going um, higher than a kilo. Okay, that's what I usually use when I'm uh, doing my classes. I use a kilo, and and that is fine for me. That is a good. That is a good weight. Um, but it's that extra resistance that we want to use to strengthen the muscles, to maintain as much muscle mass as we can, and it may even um, build it up a little bit as well. Okay, but we're not looking for those big bulky muscles we're looking for long lean muscles that function well so that keep our joints working they keep us mobile and active and independent in later life and of course the more you work your muscles you're benefiting your bones as well because your your bones respond really well when muscles are working it encourages them to maintain that bone density so you're not just working your muscles, you are working those bones, keeping that, that, those bones healthy. So regardless of your age, whether you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s or 70s, I do have people who come to my weights classes in their 70s. Okay? Um, it doesn't matter what age you are, you will always benefit from um, doing a little bit of resistance work, even if it's only a little bit. It really is the key to longevity, is maintaining strong healthy muscles so have a little go at this little workout try it over the weekend as well it's a nice light workout it's not too demanding so you could do it every day if you wanted to and, and see how you feel let me know if you've enjoyed it though and please drop a comment below i would love to hear what you have to say about it i'm going to leave it there um, enjoy your weekend and i'll see you again soon bye for now